In the blink of an eye, it seemed the whole country knew her name, even though few of us had ever even met her. Gabby Petito had a natural joy that radiated from her pictures. And we followed her across the country in that signature white transit van. She and her fiance were on the trip of a lifetime, but little did we know how short her lifetime would be. Brian Laundrie killed her on that trip and then tried to pretend like it never happened. And only now are we really learning just how controlling and abusive he was before they left on that trip. Tonight on The CW, the docuseries Crime Nation revealed in exclusive interviews just how possessive Brian Laundrie was over Gabby, even when she was with her girlfriends. Whenever there's an issue with Brian, she'll go over there. It's okay. It's fine. I have the video of her breaking into my room because she locked us out. She fell in the bush a little bit, but we managed to get in. It was great. She got dirt all over my bed. It was fantastic. <laughs> Brian is already a jealous guy. So the fact that she has this close friend and they're sleeping in the same bed on nights when Gabby and Brian fight, it drives him bananas, it drives him crazy. He insists on picking her up from Rose's place instead of letting Rose drive her home. He is very, very territorial and competitive with Rose. Gabby's lifeless body was found back in 2021, just two months into that cross-country trip. Brian later admitted in his journal that he took her life, and then he killed himself in the months that followed. In Gabby's name, Florida now has enacted legislation for police to be able to ask more detailed questions when responding to domestic violence calls. It's the Gabby Petito Act. That is all the time I have for tonight. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.